is the Huawei Mate 10 Pro, a phone with a pretty rough start. First off, the phone was declined from all the US carriers because of the accusations that China was spying on the US through Huawei. Secondly, I've heard a lot of YouTubers and bloggers writing and talking about that the Huawei Mate 10 Pro is not worth the $800. That's what I'm here to find out and this is my review of the Huawei Mate 10 Pro. Starting off with the design of the Huawei Mate 10 Pro, we have an all glass and metal build. On the front we have the 18.9 aspect ratio screen with the beautiful and vibrant Full HD Plus 6 inch OLED display. It has a pixel density of 402 pixels per inch, which helps it keep vibrant and colorful all the time. On the front we have the selfie camera with an 8 megapixel sensor with an f2.0 aperture to take some great great selfies. And right beside that we have the top speaker. And one thing that you gonna appreciate with the Huawei Mate 10 Pro is the stereo sound that it makes with the top speaker and the bottom speaker. It's really something that you're gonna love while watching YouTube or Netflix or anything like that. Moving on to the back of the phone, we have the dual camera setup from Leica. And the first camera is a 12 megapixel sensor with an f1.6 aperture with optical image stabilization, face detection and of course also laser autofocus. The other camera is a 20 megapixel monochrome sensor with an f1.6 aperture to get the contrasty deep blacks. And Huawei is actually the first phone company to have two f1.6 apertures on both their main cameras. And what it does, it takes some very, very great photos at low light. But I guess Samsung will beat that with their new S9 line coming up right around the corner. Below the two main cameras we have the fingerprint sensor and the fingerprint sensor is snappy as hell. It works like 9 out of 10 times and no Huawei didn't build in any face ID unfortunately but I hope it will come with a future update. But again a big big thumbs up for the very very fast and precise fingerprint sensor. Perfect Huawei. Moving down to the bottom of the phone we find the speaker, the main speaker to the right, which combined with the top speaker, it sounds amazing. Right beside that we have the USB-C input for your charger, and no, the phone doesn't come with an auxiliary input, unfortunately, but of course there is a little dongle that you can use so you can hook up to your favorite pair of headphones. Moving on to the right side of the phone, we'll of course find the volume rocker up and down and the lock and unlock button. And it's placed right on top of each other, so it's not that good. It's like placing your fingerprint sensor right beside your camera like Samsung did. It just doesn't work. You're always hitting the volume down when you just want to lock it and you know, so on and so forth. Moving inside the phone, you'll find what is the whole selling point of this phone. That is the first ever neural processing unit built into the CPU and that is the Kirin 970 chipset. On top of that you get an octa-core GPU so it is fast as and With the new Kirin 970 chipset you get up to 25 times better performance so that everything is just feeling very very snappy and it just works all the time. And you also get up to 50 times better efficiency with your battery and stuff like that so your battery won't deplete as fast as other phones would. And what it does is that it keeps track of those apps which are consuming most of your battery and then it is in the background, it is shutting those apps down so it won't take your battery. That is pretty cool. And besides this, the AI built in will help you when you're taking some photographs. So it will detect if you're taking a photo of some letters, then it will detect that and make the photo better. Or if you're taking a picture of a human or a cat or a dog, it will detect that and make the photo better. Or if you're taking a picture in low light, it will also make the photo look even better with the AI as its help. And besides the dope Kirin 970 processor, you also get six gigs of RAM to help you speed everything up and 128 gigs of storage. So you can take all those photos and videos that you want and download all that music on Spotify that you like. The battery is also one of the main selling points. It has 
4,000 milliamp hours. So it will last up to one and a half a day or sometimes two days if you're not using it as much. I've had it around one and a half day with a medium to high consumption. So if you're tired of a phone that is consuming all of your battery and is only lasting you a full day or less, then the Huawei Mate 10 Pro is the perfect choice for you. And as the OS, we get Android Oreo 8.1. And that is really good when you're not getting EMUI built on top of that. Because with EMUI, you get a ton of shitty bloatware that you don't really need, that Huawei is putting in. And then you don't have an app drawer as a standard. You can, of course, make that in the settings, but it just doesn't look anywhere near stock Android like I really like. So, of course, the first thing you have to do is download Nova Launcher. That is the best way to go with the Huawei Mate 10 Pro. And checking out the camera of the Huawei Mate 10 Pro, it takes some very, very great photos. Sometimes the photos comes out a little bit saturated, but that is nothing that the Pro mode can't handle. And with a ton of customization at your fingertips, you can do whatever you like. If you like to take a monochrome, you like to do some slow motion, whatever you like, some HDR photos, it can also do that. And it looks crisp almost every time. You can also do the bokeh effect so that you are completely looking gorgeous like never before. And that is also what the front facing camera can do. And like many other phones, the Huawei Mate 10 Pro can film up to 4K 30 frames per second or full HD 60 frames per second if you like. And with the two times lossless zoom, you can take great photos getting all up close like I am right now. But you can also make the color gradient shift a little bit so you can make the colors a bit more vivid or a bit more smooth or just standard if you like to. And well, yeah, a lot of customization is available with the Huawei Mate 10 Pro and that just makes photographing a lot more fun. But overall, the Huawei Mate 10 Pro is a very, very great phone. And if you ask some, the $800 price tag is way too much for the Mate 10 Pro. But if you ask me, you're actually getting a very feature-packed and well-designed and beautiful phone for the $800. With one of the fastest CPUs right now on the market and a 4,000 mAh battery that will last more than a day, you won't regret trying the Huawei Mate 10 Pro. The camera is on point. It is very, very fast and it won't let you down at any time. And you've got storage enough for, you know, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, or maybe 10,000 pictures, if you like. The phone really is light, it's beautiful, and it's lightning fast. That was all for me, and I hope you enjoyed the video half as much as I enjoyed making it for you. I'll be seeing you in the next video, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for even more great content. I'll be seeing you, peace.